All right, guys, welcome to the channel. This seems like this is like my annual video. Um, still alive, still stippling each and every week. Hit me up on all the socials if you want some work done. Now, that's not what today's video is about, sort of. This is a Taurus G3. Get these headphones off so I can hear myself talk. Taurus G3 Toro Tactical, and it is decked out. It's got a Zev Comp TLR7 Streamlight. Of course, stippled up by yours truly. Double double weave package. This is the first Taurus I've ever done. This was actually dropped off at the shop by our Taurus rep. And I'll be honest, it, it will deceive you how pretty cool this gun is. Now, he actually brought it in to me. Uh, wanted it stippled up. It's something he actually shoots quite a bit. Uh, he had a Holosun optic on here that was not working. So I put one of my SROs on here. This is a two and a half MOA. <laughs> And I had to bring it out here and shoot it. Um, the only shots I've taken with it so far is just slow fire, uh, just to get this dot sighted in. And uh, so far, it's pretty cool. I don't have tons of experience with compensated guns, but uh, it's running like it's supposed to. Now, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to compare it to some of my USPSA guns. So here is my Shadow 2. I've got set up for carry optics. Of course, Cerakoted up by yours truly. This has got the 5 MOA. Trijicon SRO. Uh, I wish you could see it, but man, there's some really epic laser engraving going down on this black portion of the frame. Anyways, so I'm going to compare it to this. All right. And I'm also going to compare it to while we're doing it. This is like my second or third gun I had set up for carry optics in USPSA. This is my Glock 34. It's got the Hall Sun 507C in green. And. It's got my favorite of all time, Glock package on it, double undercut, hybrid bevel. It's just locked in there, thumb wedges, feeling great. So what I'm gonna do, uh, I don't have a holster for the Taurus, obviously. So I'm gonna set it, especially not with the light. Um, I've got a steel plate torso size. I'm gonna kind of do a build drill with each gun, six shots off the timer as quick as I can to see which one I can shoot the fastest, just to kind of give a ballpark for this Taurus kind of fits in because it's i mean i mean look at it race gun right i mean you would have to shoot this gun and open minor the way it's configured which you know whatever uh but so i just kind of want to do that i do have some cool things coming up before i get to throw in some lead down range and burn some powder i've got a high point c9 that i'm going to set up to shoot open minor in in uspsa i want to try to put some of that, roll that some of that stuff on the channel uh as quick as possible but until then, I'm going to load some mags and get some shots down range. All right, here we go. Here's the Toro Tactical. I've got six rounds loaded up. We're going to get six rounds on target as fast as possible and see what kind of time we can do it in. Look ready. Listen, that thing was rocking and rolling very little dot movement shooting super flat compensator is definitely doing something and the time on that one is 185 there you go 185 on the g3 uh next up let's do the g34 all right guys next up is the g34 uh by the way i'm running the timmy trigger in this this holosun doesn't have near the window size compared to the trigicon might be a slight disadvantage uh, however i have several thousand through this one compared to the rest of them i'm shooting 147 grain ammo through all three of these same ammo but uh let's see what we can do i think the torus is 185 let's see if we can beat it from low ready <whistles> might have had a miss on that one too but felt pretty quick 170. 170. I might be getting a little warmed up too. All right, let's get the Shadow 2, see what happens. All right, CZ Shadow 2. Same ammo. I think. I hope I got six rounds in here. Dot is on. Let's make ready. Here we go. shot on that one too um the time is 
175. So, so far, the Glock takes the cake as far as speed on that one. Next challenge, we're gonna run the dueling tree. All right, guys, for this next segment, I've got the dueling tree set up. I'm gonna start with, a, with 12 rounds in each magazine, and I'm gonna shoot from top to bottom the dueling tree for time. First competitor is the Taurus Toro Tactical. 12 rounds in the magazine, load and make ready. Now, again, I'll be shooting these each gun from low ready. Here we go. Time is five eighty eight. Five eighty eight. Did I leave? Did I leave one? What the hell's going on? All right. Next up, we got the Glock thirty four. Twelve rounds in the magazine. From low ready. Here we go. Hit the slide stop. I uh, got it in 670. All right, last up on the Dula Tree, we got the CZ Shadow 2. <laughs> it's, it's really not fair comparing this gun to these other two. It's so much heavier, so much more ergonomic. It's just literally better in every way. But here we go from low ready. guys i appreciate y'all checking out the video the taurus g3 toro tactical definitely a cool range toy i had a ton of fun out here shooting it today uh the trigger has a lot to be desired i think it's better than a factory g3 trigger the reset's soft and kind of weak uh take up's long the brake's not it's not a hard pull i'd say it's maybe like four pounds or something but i wouldn't shoot it seriously in a match tons of fun to bring out and shoot with your range bros or whatever uh definitely a cool conversation piece no doubt about it um ton of fun it's definitely way cheaper platform to start with compared to even like a glock i mean so i don't know what the msrp on one of these new is but still either way like i said a lot of fun super cheap uh i mean as it sits though i mean you're talking about a 500 hundred dollar optic who knows what these comps are hundred dollar light uh stipple job you know runs anywhere from 175 to 250 uh, this particular one's right in that 225 250 range um anyways guys as always i'm your one-stop shop for everything custom stippling and cerakote right now i have a new project i'm working on i'm officially a dealer with impact machine in west monroe louisiana i've actually got a limited optics gun that's down there right now it's a bull uh, bull army sas2 I'm getting it milled up for an optic so I can shoot limited optics starting next month in USPSA. I'm pumped about that. Uh, the guys at Impact Machine do killer work. If you don't believe me, check out this Shadow 2. It's the one I've been shooting today. They did a heck of a job on that. Um, love this optic. I love this gun. Their, their mill work is phenomenal. They even cut a shelf right in here for the hood of the SRO. They do phenomenal work. Uh, it's rock solid. Um, so right now they have that that bull slide and that high point C9 comp slide down there. So I can't wait to show you guys that. I'll put this on the channel as soon as I get a chance. Of course, that bull, I'm going to do my stipple stuff and the Cerakote and all that on it. But uh, guys, appreciate y'all watching it. Stippling, Cerakote, slide milling. I take care of all of it. My number is 606-499-7711. You can call or text anytime. If I don't answer, leave a message. Shoot me a text. Find me on all the social media. Appreciate y'all watching. That's not supposed to happen.